I picked up this retro television the other day. It's just a tiny little portable thing, but I thought it would be perfect as a little game console with a Raspberry Pi. On the rare occasion that I feel like playing video games, my TV is always busy. Oh, and it has this really cool little handle that pops out that lets you pick it up and carry it around. I just thought that was too neat to pass up. I'm gonna use a little screen that I got from Adafruit that plugs into the Raspberry Pi and one of those controllers. I'm pretty much just gutting this thing. There's not a whole lot more to it. Check out the way this handle works. It's a cool little latching system, kind of mesmerizing. The screen was much bigger than the existing hole in the TV, so I needed to cut the faceplate of the TV big enough so that the screen could show through. This was the bulk of this project, just cutting this faceplate out to the right size. Here you can see I'm just using an abrasive wheel on a uh, rotary tool to get it cut out and kind of smooth out the sides and make sure everything fits. And then after that, I disassembled this screen because the whole case did not fit inside there. It was just slightly too big. So I disassembled the screen and pulled the screen out for sizing. And I could get the face plate, the, the front of the uh, case to fit in there. And it's held in place with hot glue. And I get it all in place and then I tape it all off because I want to cover those bright spots from cutting with spray paint. I don't want them to show through the protective cover. A quick coat of paint gets rid of that nasty cut mark. Those cuts don't even have to be that pretty because you really can't see it through the tinted uh, plexiglass kind of uh, front display cover. Peeled off the tape and it just looked beautiful and I started mounting things inside. A quick test fire shows that you can see it through the front display of that smoked glass just fine. It's not glass, that smoked plastic. And so then it comes time to cover up the holes in the back. For this I just used cardboard covered in fabric uh, using just hot glue as the adhesive. It looks pretty good actually from the outside. You'll see it later. And then I pulled the original speaker that was in the television and just wired it directly into the audio out from the Raspberry Pi. It's not very loud, but it'll do for now. And the rest of the time, all that was left to do was like cram everything in there. I didn't really modify the power, I didn't add much to it, I just shoved it all in the box and added a little bit of a latch on the bottom. There it is, all done. Uh, I gotta say I'm really happy with how this turned out. Really the only major modification to the TV itself that I made was cutting the hole for this display. The rest is just cramming it in a box. Uh, I got the Raspberry Pi in there, the display in there, a speaker, which is just a passive speaker that originally came in the TV. I'll probably replace that with a powered speaker because it's super quiet. Um, and then, I patched up these little 
holes in the back with that cardboard with fabric over it as you saw and I think that looks really pretty nice. Um, the power, I got one of these nice woven extension cords and just have that in there unmodified with everything plugged into it. Totally works. I mean you can play and, and browse stuff and it looks cool. I, it looks fantastic actually. Although this version of the emulator I got works better with my Xbox controller than this, but that didn't look as cool for the video. So I may, uh, I may have to get a new distribution or fix the config so that it works better with this. Because this just looks so much cooler. But I can always open it up and just plug whatever I want into the USB port. It's all still accessible. I really like how it turned out. Oh, and I kept this handle functional. It's still totally separate from the base. I don't know why you would ever need to use that, um, but you could if you needed to. I didn't want to destroy it because that's cool. All right. See you next time.